Right behind me, I have the entire lineup of the BenQ SW series of hardware calibrated displays. These are displays that are designed specifically for photographers and creative professionals. What I have here is the model starting with the 24 inch all the way to the various 27 inch models. It has all the different features and a different improvement because they were released at different times throughout the entire SW series generation. In this video, I'm going to go over all of those and we're going to talk about how they're different, what makes them better than the one that comes before it, and which one you may want to consider buying and adding to your workflow. I'm Art Suwansang, I'm a BenQ brand ambassador, and let's get right into this. I have these display arranged by size, starting with the 24 inch model and then going up to the three other 27 inch model. Now these three have a lot of different features between them and I will talk about that too. But first I like to do is this. Let's talk about the SW240. This is the smallest 24 inch SW series hardware caliber display. Now what makes this display unique? The price point being number one, it's a really great price point to get into. If you are an inspiring photographer, if you are a student, if you're running on a budget, or in fact, even if you are a pro and you need to take a monitor on location, this is the perfect monitor to take with you, to pack in your bags, to carry with you. And trust me, I've actually taken this on so many shoots already, it's actually very easy to pick up and go. The ergonomics of the stand itself, there's a handle on the bag, you can take it, you can pack in your car. If you have a Pelican case or a soft case, you can go ahead and put it in there. There's so many things that you can do with this display. This is what makes this display really unique. Now the other thing too is that they're all capable of hardware calibration as I mentioned before. But hardware calibration on these display meaning that if you're on a shoot, you're going to be seeing good, true, accurate colors. Now, if you are working in an environment with limited space, this 24 inch model is the perfect display to have because then you don't have to find another space to work at. You can just fit this in where you currently work or where you currently edit. And trust me, I've actually gone out to trade shows and I've actually talked to people who are considering the 27 inch model and the 24 inch model. And one of the things that they say to me was, well, what I like about the 24 inch is that it fits exactly on my desk where I need it to be, where the 27 inch, it would not fit, it's too large. And you know what, I totally understand. I, lo I personally love editing on large screens, but a lot of times, Sometimes portability does play a role in this and this is a great model for that. Now a couple of things to note about this too is that the SW240 does not come with a shading hood. If you are familiar with the SW series of hardware calibrated display and you have purchased the 27 inch or above model, you will notice that you have a hockey puck. In the 24 inch model, instead of the hockey puck, BenQ has built in this color mode button as you can switch between each different color modes and you can also come in and custom program this button very similar to what you can do with the hockey puck too. So that's just another distinct difference between the 24 inch model versus the 27 inch that I have right behind me. So let's shift gear and talk about the three 27 inch models I have with me right here. We're going to start out first with the SW2700 PT, which is this model. This is the very first BenQ SW series of hardware calibrated display. This is a 2K panel and it comes with a lot of really great features. The next model we're going to end up talking about is SW271. This is BenQ 4K 27 inch hardware calibrated display and it does come with a lot of nice new features that is an upgraded from the SW2700 PT. And lastly, we have BenQ very latest and greatest SW270C. This is now going back to a 2K hardware caliber display. Now this model, the 270C, is meant to be akin to an upgrade to the SW2700PT. So now let's focus on the SW2700PT. This is BenQ very first hardware calibrated display in the SW series that they have released to the market. And boy, had they made a big impact. I really like this display because it's the very first time that you can get a hardware calibrated display, a true hardware calibrated display at a price point that is attainable by so many people. Aspiring photographers, students can now get into this where before these type of displays are really expensive. Now that we have have this, we now have a place where we can actually go and see and edit our images in true good color. This display is a 2K panel, 2560 by 1440 QHD resolution. It's a really great resolution and now here's the case. If you're debating between getting a 2K versus a 4K display, one of the things that you need to consider is how old is your hardware? 
that's a question that you have to really think about. If you're running on an older hardware, if you're running on an older video card, many times they cannot drive 4K effectively. There'll be lag, you won't have a good experience. So that's something to think about. If you don't want to go out and buy a new computer or upgrade a new computer, then the 2K panel is really good. Now a 2K panel I think is really great for photo editing too because many times you don't need 4K resolution to do photo editing. When you really need to, to use a 4K capability is that for instance, if you're filming in 4K, if you happen to do multimedia in 4K, 4K is good for that matter. But otherwise, a 2K panel, you know, it, it honestly earned my respect and it earns my love and you can see it in all of my BenQ SW series of display reviews, anytime we come on a 2K, there's a special place in my heart for them. I even recommend a lot of my photographer friends get 2K hardware calibrated display because they don't need the 4K capability. The other thing too that you need to note about 4K is that 4K many times can render text really small and now you have to use the display scaling in order to get the size of a text correct to which then at that point you're not really using 4K native space. Now the one great thing about 4K though is that when you start to use scaling, it starts to blend in the pixel a little bit so you're getting the effect that is almost like a retina display. So that's kind of like the plus side to it. Otherwise, it's still using a lot of graphic processing power. All right, moving on. The SW series of display here, the 2700 PT, is the very first one the BenQ released with a hockey puck. Now the hockey puck I find really awesome because there are preset buttons on there. There are three of them. And you can set these preset buttons to different color modes that you have. So for instance, if you have a custom calibration, you can assign it to button one. Button two can be, let's say you want to see what this picture would look like in sRGB. You can assign that to button two. And one of the features that I really love about all the BenQ SWU series of display is the advanced black and white mode. You can go ahead and press one button and turn the entire screen into black and white. This way you can see black and white without any color bias and that's something that's really great and no other program can really do that nor have I seen any other display manufacturer do true black and white mode the way how BenQ have done with their SW series display for photographers which is something really great. A couple of other things about this display is that it also comes with a shading hood and all the cables that you need right out of the box and they still ship like that today which is really great. Now I don't have the shading hood to show you here however something to note is that if you use your display in vertical orientation this display can rotate it has the ergonomics so I'll show you here. It can rotate up and down it can go side to side fully it can also rotate vertical. But here's the case, if you want to use a shading hood in vertical orientation, just by nature of design of the very first generation shading hood and the way how it's mounted, you cannot do that with this one. So just something to keep in mind if you like to use vertical orientation and you want the vertical shading hood, this may not be the one that you want to look at. Now if you want those, you need to look into the other two models of the 27 inch, which comes with the second generation shading hood, which means that once you rotate the display vertical, you can actually change some parts of the shading hood here and mount a vertical shading hood on them. Let's focus now on the SW271. This is the 4K hardware calibrated display in the SW series. It is housed within a 27 inch frame. The resolution of this panel is 3840 by 2160 and the panel is still capable of displaying 99% Adobe RGB and 100% sRGB. So a couple of things that was introduced with the SW271 is a new design language. The base was redesigned, the hockey puck has been redesigned in terms of the enclosure. So gone is the chrome enclosure right here as you can kind of see this is the matte black enclosure. So what this does is that if you have this on your desk it's not going to you know reflect any color or bias the colors that you're seeing on the screen. It also comes with a second generation shading hood which I really like because the second generation shading hood no longer has hooks that are protruding out from the side. In fact, it's actually a little channel that's carved into the plastic of the display. What's really great is that you line those plastic up, you lock it in, and it just stays in place. What's really great about this too is that the SW271 also comes with the extra parts so that if you decide you want to use your screen in vertical orientation, you can easily take this apart put those two pieces in that it comes with and use this display with the shading hood in vertical orientation mode. A couple of other things that this display also comes with too is a USB Type-C. It's the very first BenQ SW series to be introduced with a USB Type-C. 
with all the BenQ SUV series of display, it comes with two USB ports on the side, and that's a type A USB port and also an SD card slot. Something that's really neat about them. One more thing about the SW271 is that this new design language has been used in other BenQ display models that has been released after this. So for instance, the SW240 is now using this design language and also the SW270C, which is right behind me here, and we'll go over that in just a moment. One more thing that I like to go over about this display is that if you take off the shading hood, one of the main key design language that they have introduced with this one As you can kind of see, this is really easy to come off. But one of the main key design language that they have introduced with this one is the infinity edge. No longer are there any large bezel around it. It's actually become this really slim bezel around it. And to be honest with you, I really like this when I'm using it because it really gives you an immersive experience when you're really editing your photo. You're no longer, you know, being bombarded by the large frame that is surrounding the display. This way you get to see your pictures fully and it's a really awesome experience. Now, like I said, this has carried on in the SW240 and the SW270C. Now let's take a look at the latest and newest BenQ SW series of hardware calibrated display. This is a BenQ SW270C. Now for the SW270C, BenQ went back to 2K in this one because the SW2700PT, the very first model was released a few years back already. So this is meant to be an upgrade to that. And boy, is it really an upgrade. So a couple of things that is gonna be notable between this one is that the new design language that's carried from the SW2714K panel it's all in here. Now it does come with the shading hood. However, it only comes with the shading hood for horizontal orientation. If you want to use the shading hood for this model in vertical orientation, it is capable of doing that. However, you need to get two extra pieces of the shading hood that will extend the side out so that you can use it in vertical orientation. A couple of other things about the display too is that this is the BenQ SW series of display that they have shipped with the second generation hockey puck. Now the second generation hockey puck forgoes all the keys in the middle of the hockey puck and they have actually changed it to a dial and a press button which is really kind of neat. The hockey puck now instead of being a just a hockey puck feel this is now a weighted design. It's really great. There's one extra function button which you can go in and customize the function of it or you can now instead of actually Actually just go between three color modes you can customize it so that it will cycle between extra three color modes so you can cycle between six color modes total just from the hockey puck which is really kind of neat and there's a lot of other ways to customize the hockey puck too the other thing that's really great about the SW270C is that this is not only an upgrade to the SW2700PT the panel that is inside SW270C has also been upgraded to a higher quality 2K panel and BenQ has also launched or introduced Uniformity version 2.0. Essentially what BenQ have done at the factory level is that they have actually gone in with tighter scrutiny on the display in terms of you know calibrating and make sure that all the panels, all the different sections in the panels had a really great level of uniformity throughout. And I've actually done testing using i1 profiler to test the uniformity of all these panels and by far if you are looking for uniformity the SW270C is the best uniformity out of all the BenQ SW series of display. This SW270C also has an upgraded USB Type-C. The upgraded USB Type-C is now capable of doing 60 watt power delivery. So I have it right now hooked up to my 15 inch MacBook Pro and one cable will carry the power to my laptop, the display signal, it will carry the I.O. to the two USB type A port and SD card slot on the side. So when I come back to the display, if I have my laptop, just one cable powers everything. Makes life very easy. I no longer have to worry about plugging an extra power adapter, uh, extra USB cable. It's all done from one singular cable. Another feature that distinguished SW270C from the rest of the SW series that comes before it, and this is something that I consider important to me, is that this display has a built-in 16-bit LUT. All the other SW series of hardware calibrated display comes with a 14-bit LUT. Now in this case, we're talking about a 2-bit increase in the lookup table. What that 2-bit increase amount to is that this display can reference more colors than the other BenQ SW series that have come before it. Now here's the case though, as much as I like this feature, 
In a day-to-day -day usage, if you get any one of the BenQ SFU series of hardware calibrated display, you will be happy with the result of the pixels that you're going to get. So that was a brief guide on the BenQ SFU series of hardware calibrated display. This is a current lineup that I have right behind me from the 24 inch starter model that you can get into a hardware calibrated display to the three separate 27 inch model that has different features that will fit into different workflows and different needs for different creative professionals. So this was a brief guide on the BenQ SW series of hardware calibrated displays that are designed for photographers and creative professionals. I hope that you find this video useful and educational. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in a the comment below. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload a really neat video like this. And until next time, art is right. Wait, so I'm art, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the outtake right there. BenQ SW Hardware Calibrate Display, and they're rearranged. <laughs> They're arranged, not rearranged. <laughs> we didn't rearrange them. <laughs> Blooper for another video. You also said Bren Crew. Kind of show you what they can do, some of the distinct features that they offer with each different generation that, work, that they release. Doing 97% DCI P3, which is really. And most of these displays are capable of doing 100%. <laughs> I lost my track. Tuckery. Very methodical. Yeah, but in this angle, it looks like you're just scratching your butt. Eh, it happens. This is why we do camera A, camera B. Yeah. Lesson hard learned. Okay. Um. Hello. Lost my track there. It has hardware calibration capable, 99% Adobe RGB, 100% sRGB. In fact, it also comes with the dope. I think so. Okay. Yep. Cool. I'll do my butt scratch move again. <laughs> yeah, too late now. Things happen. Some of them are going to be different internally based on the hardware and the panel that's come with the display. <laughs> oh, one more time. First of all, it's a redesigned stand. It is a whole entirely different ergonomic. This display can now also go higher than the 2700 PT. Not by much. I should not do that because I forgot I taped this down. That, that was a good cause, though. It was really genuine. Okay. So one of the things that I really like about this display, and I'm going to go ahead and take this off to kind of demo. Why is this not? <laughs> it's not coming off. Yeah. You're in the camera too, you know that, right? Yikes. <laughs> okay. Yoga time.